Alright, so I'm going to record a video on how to war drive or war walk or basically stumble networks uh, with the Mac. Uh, today I'm going to be showing off Kismac, which is my favorite stumbler that's native for Macs. And I'm going to give you a rundown on what hardware I use and how it works. So first of all, a uh, little specs. I've got my MacBook, 2 gigahertz. 2 gigs of RAM, standard stuff. I have the Bluetooth. I use a Bluetooth GPS receiver. Now this is a, as you can see, it's a pretty uh, plain uh, receiver. It just says Bluetooth GPS, but it is an iBlue 737, I believe. That's the model number. If you look on Amazon and search for Bluetooth GPS receiver, you'll see a bunch of little products like these. They're real small. They're meant for phones and anything really. And uh, you can pick them up for like maybe 50, 40 bucks. I think you can get them down a little bit lower on eBay, but yeah, they're about that. For my wireless card, I use the Hawking. Uh, let me see what the model number is. Let's see, it is HWUG1 uses the RT73 chipset and it's pretty good I like it so let's get into well how to set all this stuff up uh, beforehand I have paired my Bluetooth GPS with my Mac so it should be good to go so I basically turn it on it blinks and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it over here by the window so it can get some GPS signal love so go over here and let's start Kismac. This is the new build with the new GUI. It is really nice. And there you can see my Bluetooth GPS just kicked in. So if I click on map, it's going to show me that's pretty much where I'm at. So basically what you do is you go over here and you hit scan. And it started up and it's finding all these networks kind of annoying having growl set up to oops having growl set up to uh, let you know that it found networks and it's right now it's scanning uh, 1 through 13 wow my stupid camera keeps focusing so it scans through all the standard channels which is nice and so now I'm going to switch over to ScreenFlow so you guys can get a better idea of how this works. Okay, so we're back. I'm on ScreenFlow and now I can show you much easier how this all works. Um, I'm going to go back and start the scan again. And now this is basically hopping through um, all the networks that are in range of myself and basically how, how it all works and ties in. So if I click on map, it's going to show me basically all these different networks that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the scan. I'm going to do file, import, and the map. I'm going to import a new map. So I'm going to pull from the server. Allow that. Yes. Okay, so this is basically showing me exactly where the networks are um, in a nice map that shows, well, where I live. So you can save this map file. For some reason, Kismac does not automatically save it or cache it, which is quite annoying. So, now what can you do with this data? Now, uh, you can do a lot of stuff with this. You can stumble, you can be, you can put your black hat on and crack these networks you can do all sorts of stuff. What I like to do is I like to go to wiggle.net which is a wireless, it's basically a logging site. Now from here you can basically use a browser and see pretty much what wireless networks have been stumbled and in what areas. Now this is important if you're like moving or if you're going on vacation and you, you know the address to you know your hotel and you want to see what wireless is around going to a friend's house whatever it's it's just cool to look up and see what what wireless networks are where 
And so that's basically what I do. Now this whole setup is completely mobile. Um, I've gone with a friend and stumbled quite a few times. Yes, it is quite a nerdy thing to do, but yeah, it's fun. So I'm going to show you another application that I use. It's called Insomnia X. Now what Insomnia X does is it lets you close the lid of your MacBook without it turning off. So what I do is I turn my screen off, I bring the brightness all the way down, and then I enable Insomnia, and that will let me close the lid and let me drive for a while um, without opening the lid and letting Kismac do its thing, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's basically all you need is the, the wireless card. You don't need the GPS per se, but I like to have it because it lets me come back to say if I find a network that I find interesting I can come back to it because I know exactly where it is. So that's my little uh, recording for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So go out there and go stumble some networks.